Hey everyone, so this is going to be the last of the chapter 2 videos, and we're going to be talking about how to find inverses given a certain matrix. And so here I'm going to do a 3x3, three three, a spec that applies for 2x2s, two 4x4s, four you name it. And there's going to be a shortcut for 2x2s two that I'll talk exclusively about in recitation, but for now, here, here's a 3x3. Three three. For anything larger than a 3x3, three three, you have to use this, like 3x3 three three or larger, there isn't a quicker way. And so, yeah, so so here's the problem. You're, you need to find B inverse given this matrix B. And so how are we going to do this? Well, we create this augmented matrix then. And so we write B on the left-hand side here. And on the right-hand side, what we're going to do then is we're going to write uh, the identity matrix. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And so what we, what we want to do then, the goal is to reduce this left-hand side, reduce this to... Uh, the identity matrix and so let's start by doing that and remember this is augmented so whatever operations you do to the left hand side you have to do it to the right hand side as well okay and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero out this guy by doing this row plus the top row right and so that means I get two zero one one zero zero and then I get zero three five one one zero so notice on the right hand side i added this row and this row right so one plus zero is one one plus zero is one and so you get one one zero so notice what you do to the left hand side you have to do to the right hand side and what i'm going to do here then is since i want this left hand side to be an identity matrix i'm going to make this a one and so i'm going to take this i'm going to add three times this top row and so I'm going to get 1, 0, 9, uh, and then, oh, 1, 5, 9, whoops, 1, 5, 9, and then I'm going to get 3, 0, 1, okay? All right, what's next? Well, uh, let's make this bottom row on top. So I'm going to have 1, 5, 9, 3, 0, 1, 0, 3, 5, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, okay? And now I want to zero out this guy. So I'll take this minus two times the top row. And that will get me 1, 5, 9, 3, 0, 1, 0, 3, 5, 1, 1, 0, 0, negative 10, ooh, negative 17? Yeah, okay. And then negative 5, 0, uh, negative 2. And I messed up here, right? Because when you switch this row, this needs to be one zero zero. So, be careful. This is right though. So this is negative five zero two, negative five zero negative two. All right, and then continue reducing. And yeah, the biggest problem with this type of problem is that <laughs> you tend to make a lot of calculation errors. Um, what I'm going to do now is well. We want a 1 here somehow, and you can just divide by 3, but I prefer not to work with fractions. So we're going to do a 1 by doing this. We're going to take this row, and we are going to add 3 times the top row. And so why are we going to do that? Well, you'll see in a bit, but so 0, 3, 5, 1, 1, 0. And so this becomes 0 times 3 times the top row, so it's 10 plus 9, so it's negative 1. Uh, this becomes negative 17 plus 15, so that's negative 2. And this becomes negative 2, 3, negative 2. Okay? And now I can just multiply this row by negative 1, right? And then f switch it with the top row. So I get 1, 5, 9, 0, 1, 2, right? So I took the third row, swapped it with row 2, and then multiplied by negative 1. So I'm doing that all at once. So this becomes then 2, negative 3, positive 2. And then I have 0, 3, 5, 1, 1, 0. All right, continue to reduce. Now I can zero out this guy right here. And so I get 1, 5, 9, 3, 0, 1. Okay, this becomes 0, 1, 2, 2, negative 3, 2. And this becomes 0, 0, negative 1. Okay, and then uh, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. 1 plus nine yeah is ten and then zero minus six is negative six okay and now 
let's then multiply the bottom row by negative one. So one five nine zero one two zero zero one. Okay, three zero one two negative three two five negative ten positive six. All right, and then what's next? Okay, and so now we need to zero out these guys here, right? We need to zero out this guy. We need to zero out. Yeah, yeah. So let's zero out that guy up there first. Um, and so how are we going to do this? Okay, so we're going to take this row minus five times the bottom row. And so I get one, zero, negative one. Okay. And then this becomes negative seven, 15, negative nine. Okay. And then zero, one, two, zero, zero, one. And then two, negative three, two, five, negative 10, six. All right, and so now the last step then is to zero out these guys. And so we're gonna take row one plus row three, and we're gonna take row two minus two times row three. And so we get one, zero, zero. Okay, negative seven plus five is negative two. 15 minus 10 is five. Negative nine plus six is negative three, okay. 0, 1, 0, and then 2 minus 10 is negative 8. Negative 3 plus 20 is 17. Uh, 2 minus 12 is negative 10. All right, and then finally, 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 10, 6. Okay, and what have we done? Well, now, look, we got what our goal was to reduce the reduce the left hand side to the identity, right? So here's the identity matrix. Um, what's this guy? Well, this guy is actually B inverse. Okay, so what you've done then is you've reduced the left hand side to the identity matrix and the right hand side gets you B inverse. And so this then is our answer for B inverse. And you can check it. Um, I'm not going to for the sake of video time and video length. But yeah, that's B inverse. And you can use matrix calculators to check if this is the actual inverse, you can get the same thing. And this in general, then reducing this augmented matrix into the left hand side being an identity and the right hand side giving the inverse. This is the best way to do three by three and above matrix inverses. There's a shortcut for two by two, but we'll talk about that in recitation.